The simplest keys to life, well, my life, is just taking care of myself and doing what brings me joy. And this has been an up and down, just ride, this whole process of trying to figure out what actually works for me and what's the best for me during this whole journey. Lately, I've been having feelings of self-doubt creeping in. I think it's because I feel like I should be doing more and I've been really hard on myself about it. There are moments where I feel like I'm on top of the world, nothing can stop me, nothing can hold me back, and there's no room for any negative thoughts to creep in. Then there are other times I'm like, okay, I've been putting in the work, I've been planting seeds, I've been having the faith, I've been believing in my manifestations, but also at the same time, it's like, why isn't anything happening yet? At times, I'm able to understand that I have to just practice patience, which is something that I'm actually striving to perfect because I've always been the type of person where I'll try a different product or try something new. And if I don't really see results in a certain amount of time that I feel that I should be re receiving or experiencing them, I basically just uh, move on and go to the next thing without actually seeing things through because I'm not fully being devoted to putting in the time and actually waiting for things to, to play out and run its course. And then I have to remember, even for my clients, I'm letting them know that in order to actually see results, in order to create a certain habit or a specific routine and a system, you're not really gonna see any significant change anywhere from 30 to, to 60 to 90 days. Obviously that's dependent on the goal, but in order to see the change, and to actually create the system to be able to incorporate this and implement this from here on out throughout your journey of whatever your goal is that you're trying to reach, you have to stay consistent for a certain time frame. And that's what I'm starting to realize now is that I have to continue on. I can't continue to have this mindset and just keep leading myself to these type of expectations and feeling some type of way or completely stopping altogether because I'm not seeing the results that I wanna see knowing that I haven't even fully gave it my full undivided attention yet. So I just have to be patient and just work on these things. And then for the most part, I'm okay with just going with the flow, doing what feels right, planting these seeds, not needing instant gratification and validation from the things that I'm doing. However, at the same time, it's trying to stay strong and not get discouraged when you're not feeling okay all the time or not at your highest and, and feeling in that mental space that everything is okay and everything's gonna work itself out. And that's why negative thoughts are so dangerous. It will have you ready to give up on all your hard work and beliefs in a second. And that's how I got off my journey the first time, just allowing those thoughts to take over and get into the point eventually where I just stopped altogether because I just felt like it was too hard. This time around, I feel like I'm feeling the emotions of it and I'm trying my hardest not to give up because I just refuse at this point to give up on my dreams. I feel like I'm so close and I just have to keep on going forward and just keep on pushing and making sure that I am not reverting back to what's easy and what's comfortable for me. I'm also trying to be obedient and I'm trying to surrender just to that control syndrome that I've always had. And I have to remember that if I'm feeling if I'm having those feelings where I feel like I'm not doing enough, or if I feel like I'm doing things out of desperation, I must go within immediately and ask my spirit guides for guidance to remain strong and faithful. It's about being aware once I feel these emotions and it's not feeling like my true genuine self, and I have these emotions and feelings that are coming up that don't feel like they're mine, I need to address them immediately get the answers and move to the next phase. And what helps me with that is just staying grounded, staying centered, staying focused. Those are what help me, those are what keep me going. That's what gives me the the power and the strength to just continue to just keep going. Also something that's really huge for me, self-love. If I am loving on myself, if I'm giving that out to others, and it always it just always brings me back to the true person that I really am, who knows that she's enough, who knows that she's on the right path, and who isn't in a rush to see the results, but believes that they're on their way at the right time. I say this all the time, self-awareness. Once I see or feel the emotions coming up for me, I journal instantly and I speak positively out to the universe, which for the most part has normally been working but the space that I feel like I have been in the last couple of days 
I've been very emotional, just crying a lot. And sometimes when you're not feeling your highest, sometimes it's not as easy as just journaling. Regardless if I'm feeling good or bad, I will journal and, 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 and talk about it and get those feelings out. But sometimes you might need just a little more because it just depends on your emotions and the type of day that you're having. If it's like really deep and you're just going through a lot of things, it's not as easy to just journal and, and feel better. But I do believe with me crying a lot, just releasing those tears, they gave me the, the energy to feel like I recharged so that I'm able to start back up again and to be aware enough to know that those feelings aren't mine, whatever those feelings are. Let me just feel those. Let me just get that all out of me and let me work harder to get out of that situation and out of that that energy so that I'm able to get back to my true self. And something else that I also noticed on my journey and something that I did journal about today was just I was thinking too much. I was doing too much thinking about the things that I needed to change around me now that I'm spiritually aware now. And meaning like, okay, so now that I'm going through this awakening, I need to change the foods that I'm eating, which obviously is something that I need to do and I feel like it's really important to me. But I was thinking about changing the way that I dress, um, moving a certain way with this how I um, am as a person, uh, going natural with my hair, just like doing some really extreme things, needing to be completely secluded not being around people, not hanging with anyone that wasn't on a journey, judging people for doing certain things that I no longer was doing or was still doing, but was trying to get out of them. It was just like a whole, just, I was looking at it the wrong way. But then again, I was trying to control everything. And it was based off of my perspective of what someone who is spiritually awoken or aware should act and how they should who they should be as a person. When at the end of the day, it's still me. I'm still Ebony. I'm still supposed to be who I am. What I'm supposed to do is learn experiences. Then putting those practices into daily action. And it's not just about an external change around me. It's like an all around change, but I'm still able to be me, but I can still just be a better person overall, if that makes sense. When at the end of the day, yes, I need to let go of things that no longer serve me. But that doesn't mean that I need to let go of things that still make me me. <laughs> I need to be aware of my surroundings, set boundaries and things like that, but still be able to do the things that I love, hang with the people I love. It, I don't need to get rid of everything in my life is basically all I'm trying to say. <laughs> I used to drink all the time. I've already been slowing down on drinking. It doesn't have to be a whole full-blown cold turkey type of situation. I can drink occasionally. I can drink socially. I can drink if I'm on vacation. I don't need to drink all the time. I do like to smoke. I like to uh, take shrooms. I just like vibing out. I like just being myself. I like doing what makes me feel good. I still like material things. And that's okay. I used to just feel like I had to give up everything and just be this one individual and putting even more pressure on myself when I it's all about being at peace and actually just loving yourself. There's nothing more to it. It's not, it's, it shouldn't be stressful. And it's not just one way of being, just like everything else is about balance. And if I'm looking into things as if it's a duty, it's a chore, I'm forcing myself to do something, it's not coming naturally, I'm most likely thinking too serious about it and that's something that I need to be aware of immediately and fix that because that's not what life is about. That's not what peace is about. And it's almost like a sense of like, so my girlfriend, uh, when she was like, it just being out there in a the dating field, I used to always tell her, how are you gonna know how to be the best girlfriend if you're not being in a relationship and if you're not experiencing it and if you're not in it? And I think like as individuals, we always try to perfect something first before we get into it but say i'm healing how am i actually able to show my practices if i'm just being secluded and just being in the house and just focusing on the things inside and just by myself but not being put in certain situations and certain experiences to see how i'm able to grow how i have changed and how i'm able to implement those new habits that i've learned 
if I'm just not living life. I want to leave you with this. The key to my peaceful life is having fun, being aware and noticing when those dark moments, moments come and have you question everything, going within, shutting that shit down, and being your true, genuine self who experiences nothing but love, grace, and kindness. And yes, we have real shit going around us all the time, but this life is just a game and you just gotta know how to play it. And we are not placed here to take things so serious, but to have a, a human experience and to enjoy as much as we can. And what I love most is just not knowing what's coming next and can just move forward, just not, just being excited and not knowing what's to come instead of just being afraid of the unknown, how I used to be. You only have one life to live, so let's live it. So let's keep these energies up and focus on our peace.